ಬಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕೆ ಪಾಸೆಂದು ಪೇವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ ಲಂಘ ಹೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಂಗ ಬಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ವ ನರುಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಸರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತ ಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಿಮಿಗುಪವಧುಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶಿವಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶಿವಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ಭಾಗೀಶಜುಷ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತೆ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಾನಾ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿಚಾರ ನೈಕ ನಿಪುಣ ಸದ್ಧರ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾಪಕ ಲೋಕಾನಂಗಿತ ಕರುಣೌ ತಿಭುವನೆ ಮಾನ್ಯೌ ಸರಣ್ಯಾಕರು 
राधा कृष्ण पदार बिंद भजना नंदेन मातालिक बंदे रूप सनातनो रजुग जुग जुगो श्री जीव गो पालको बंदे रूप सनातनो रुग जुगो श्री जीव गो पालको गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड इन ए फ्लावर यू कैन फाइन हनी एट द सेम टाइम ऑल्सो यू कैन फाइन इज सम पॉइजन फाइन सम पॉइजन गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड इन ए फ्लावर यू कैन फाइन हनी Also, you can find some poison. The duty of honey bees is to collect honey, and the duty of luta kit, one's kind of special insect, its name is luta luta kit. The duty of luta kit is to collect poison from that flower. Anyway. The duty of luta kit is to collect poison from flower, whereas the duty of honey bees is to collect honey from flower. Though there is no enmity among them, because luta kit want to collect poison, and honey bees always like to collect honey. Still, sometimes there. Some kind of fighting takes place inside them. Honeybees, anyway, not going to take any help. Honey, honeybees, not going to take any help of that luta kit to collect honey. Independent, but still, sometimes fighting takes place between two. Honeybees drinking honey and collecting honey. due to that feeling sometime the nice a sweet intoxication he if going to drink he will huge amount of honey and going to collect then one kind of sweet intoxication takes place luta kit cannot understand what is the enjoy luta kit cannot identify luta kit cannot understand that what kind of enjoy enjoyment honey bees getting cannot understand in our bhajan field in our bhajan field if we are going to collect the honey given by our guru barga you can remember many time before i told sri chaitanya padambuya madhupebhya namo namaha i like to remind you श्री चैतन्य मधुपेभ्य श्री चैतन्य पदाबुज श्री चैतन्य पदाबुज मधुपेभ्य नमो नम कथंचित आश्रया जे साम सा ऊपी तत् गंधभाग भवेट कृष्णदास कविराज गोस्वामी राइटिंग श्री चैतन्य पदाबुज मधुपेभ्य नमो नम दोज व दानी बीज होवरिंग एराउंड द लोटस लाइक लोटस लाइक फ्लीट of chaitanya mahaprabhu lotus feet hovering all around that lotus flower like feet to collect honey from the lotus flower our guru varga sri chaitanya padambajo madhupebhyo namo namo we are going to pay prostrate dandavat unto the lotus feet of those honey bees those who are collecting all the time honeys from the lotus feet of chaitanya mahaprabhu they are feeling some sort of intoxication due to their continuous sankirtan always they are feeling some sort of intoxication sweet intoxication which material people cannot realize so krishna das ko viraj goswami is speaking sri chaitanya padambuja madhupebhyo namo namaha those who are Going to take shelter of that lotus feet of such a such a honey bees, our Guru Bhargav honey bees, na? Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami speaking. Those who are going to take a little bit shelter of that lotus feet, 
we want to pay Dandavadan to their lotus feet. Sri Chaitanya Padambuja Madhupyabhyo Namo Namo. Kathanchit Aswaya say, a little bit, a little bit if they are going to take shelter of that, you know, honeybees, I mean Guru Bhargava, they are surely going to get the smell. They are surely going to get the nice smell of the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Kathanchit Aswaya Jesam, Shaupi, if it is dog, if it is dog, if it is dog like the Sivanandas, like the dog of Sivananda, you can also get the smell of the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Same case. When Sivananda is going to reach Purushottam Dham, he discovered that that dog is there in front of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is sitting in a rock and going to give in a, in a coconut. Take Hare Krishna speak. And the dog speaking, Hare Krishna and taking. So, nothing impossible. You can think it is impossible, but nothing in Sasa. Sri Chaitanya Padam Bhujo Madhupe Bhyo Namo Namaha Kathanchit Asraya Jesam Sa Upi Tad Gandhu Bhagavad. Even a dog can get the smell of the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, if at all. That dog going to take shelter or a little bit under the lotus feet of one such honeybees, those who are hovering around the lotus like flower, I know, lotus flower like, I know, flower, lotus like, lotus, you know, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu lotus feet. So, nothing impossible, everything possible. So, Prabhupada speaking, those who are going to do bhajan, in our Gauriyo field, those who are going to take shelter of a pure Guru Vaishnava, like honeybees, like I already told, they are surely not going to collect poison. Surely they cannot collect poison because no, they understand the value of that honey, they understand the taste of that honey. Those who are in true sense coming in Gauriya Vajan, they are always busy to collect the honeys from the lotus feet of our Guru Bhargava, bhajan, treasure, treasure of bhajan. But those who are coming to collect some poison, like lava, puja, patishta, everything, like stool and urine, they are only going to collect poison. They don't understand the the sweet intoxication, Guru Vaishnava feeling, those who are doing actual bhajan. So sometimes out of jealousy, they like to fight with them. They like to stop their harikatha. They don't like to allow them to speak harikatha because their market become very bad. Like one businessman, they like to make some market in the field. Even in dream, we cannot imagine this kind of dirty situation. They always want to make some market in the field. Market, love, puja, patisha, everything, collecting money, everything. That is a target. We are very lucky. We are very lucky that we are in the line of Saraswat Gauriya Parampara, Gauriya Mat. Gauriya Parampara. Those who are deviated from Gauriya Parampara, I am less interested to speak about anything about them. But Bhakti Muntra was speaking, our great Tattacharya, great Vedantist, Ved Vedanti, is Jiva Goswami Path. The name of Jiva Goswami Path is like a main star, you know, Dhrubhotara. One in north direction you can find. It's like that. Bhakti Muntaka is speaking. He is no less than Ramanu Chajya. Bhakti Muntaka is speaking. He is no less than Ramanu Chajya. So powerful. Even more we can say. Because Ramanu Chajya is Ram Anuja Lakshan. He is not. We cannot say. That he is, you know, Ramanu Shajya. 
No less than Ramana Chaitanya means he is going to glorify Sri Jiva Goswami path because eternally he is the Parsat of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. At the same time, he is the eternal Parsat of Radharani as Vilas Mandiri. As Vilas Mandiri. So, all the time we know, we are not going to make any comparative statement. Ramana Chaitanya is a great. We are not going to make any offense. It's a Ram, Un, Ram Anuja Acharya. But anyway, those who are in the line of Radharani directly, their bichar, you know, their bichar is a very sensitive bichar. Ramanuja bichar is very nice, no problem. But anyway, regarding seva, Madhurjama is seva, this kind of speciality is there with our. This our Gauriya Guru Bhargava like Bhakti Mir Thakur Prabhupada, Shivananda Sen, eh? our everybody, our Guru Bhargava, those who are in line with Gorangma. So this is a speciality with them. Anyway, Sila Jibugusai Path took birth in north, near Malda, one place, you know, near Malda, North Bengal there. There he took birth. Where Gauranga Mapu went to give darshan to Rup Sanatan, Ramkeli. The name of the village is Ramkeli, near Ramkeli. He took birth. Ramkeli is a very important place. Why? Because Rup Sanatan, while staying in Purvasram, they used to do bhajan there and they make. Vrindavan, Radha, Madan, Mohan, Radha, Govinda, Govinda, they make it. Ram Kelly very important in this respect. Still today, the seva going on anyway. In the heritage of Rup Sanatan, we can find Jivagoshe path. I am not going to speak all in details about his identity. It's known to everybody. He took birth in Ram Kelly Gram. He was the son of the third you know, you know, you know uh, his name is, you know, Anupam. Name is Anupam. Rup, Sanatan, Rup, Anupam. Anupam is the third brother, I mean three brothers, third brother is uh, Anupam. I like to remind you that Rupa Goswami Bhad was feeling tremendous attraction for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu lotus feet, he already left home and somehow Rupa Goswami uh, Goswami had already gone. Sanatana Goswami path somehow he was he was caught by the king. Somehow he also uh, got you know he also gone from this jail and gone to Vindavan anyway. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Ramkeli Gam, actually Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to go to Vrindavan. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started from Purushottam Dham to go to Vrindavan. But not going to Vrindavan. Finally, he is going to, coming to this Gaurdham, taking bath in Ganga, going up to Ramkeli. Ramkeli. Mahaprabhu himself told to Sanatan, when people thinking Prabhu is supposed to go to Vrindavan, why Prabhu going this Ramkeli? They don't know. Mahaprabhu himself speaking, they don't know my motive. I come, I wanted to come to Ramkeli to meet with you and Rup, Rup Sanatan. That is why. As per document, actually, 100% Historical documents we cannot find because anyway, they are not going to write anything, nothing. So it is expected, Bhakti Muta speaking, that when Mahaprabhu went to Ramkeli Gram, when Mahaprabhu went to Ramkeli Gram to meet with Rup Sanatan, that time Anupam also came. Anupam also, that time the age of Jivgo Sempath was only 10 years. Yet, yet, yet another group speaking that when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left, 
when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left the material world, I mean, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu disappeared, that time Rupa Goswami Prabhu took birth. But the previous one is more authentic. According to his age limit and whatever done, what all, if we tally like card, then we cannot uh, believe that Chaitanya that at the time of the disappearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he I cannot believe. We cannot believe. When it is more practical to think when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Ramkali Gam to meet with Rup Sanatan and Anupam also came, that time Jiva Goswami Path was in the lap of his father. Was in the lap of Sifa, his father. Anyway, so after after giving kipa, full kipa to Rup Sanatan and Anupam Jiva. Mahaprabhu gone to Kanai Natsala, you can remember. Kanai Natsala, it is the Bihar Bangla border. From there, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came back. Oh, so long history, I don't like to speak. Now, point is that, anyhow, Rupa Goswami Bhatt left home with his younger brother. Rupa Goswami Bhatt left home with his younger brother, Anupam. Whereas, Sanatan Goswami Pad was in the trap, in the jail. They gone already, and there is long history. They gone already, say, Vrindavan here, there. Again, Rupa Goswami Pad, he came to his previous home to distribute, to disburse, distribute and disburse all the property, property. Distribution and disbursement. Distribution and dis I mean disbursement of property. All amount, some giving to Brahman Vaishnava, some going to temple, some amount he was bound to keep with one, you know, grocery shop, gro grocery shop. One man he is running one grocery shop, he was bound to keep some money, it was very intimate, you know, relation. So he told, when my brother, I mean, elder brother Sonato needs some money to get free from jail. You can provide that money. Follow. Faithful. And then after that, again go on. So when, when actually, Rupa Goswami Bhad, no, in the way of his Bangla, there at the bank of Ganga, Anupam Goswami, Anupam going to leave body. Anupam left body. Anupam left body, what to do? Anupam left body, and after that, Rupa Goswami Pad doing all everything, finally he wanted to reach uh, Vrindavan again. That time, getting the news of disappearance of father, after getting the disappearance, after getting the news of disappearance of father, Jiva Goswami Pad was very upset that time, because small boy, anyway, but he was very, very intelligent student. While, while staying at home, he completed his background, alankar, or everything. All preliminary subject, all background, alankar, everything, all complete. Then, he cannot stay at home. He cannot stay at home. Because all day and night he is crying in the name of Gauru Nityananda. Because you remember, when Mahaprabhu went to Ramkali, that time Gauranga Mahaprabhu was also there. You can go to Chaitanya Charitamrita. When Gauranga Mahaprabhu went to Ramkali, that time Nithyananda Prabhu was also there. Follow. There are some devotees also. Anyway, so Jiva Goswami Bhad was very intelligent, abnormally intelligent. I mean, in the heaven, I mean, in the heaven, you cannot find such a demigod who is so intelligent, like Jiva Goswami Bhatt. So intelligent, complete everything. Within a very short period, he completes, he completed. After that, at home, in the name of Rup Sanatan, in the name of Gaur Nityananda, he used to cry. Like the case of Uddhav, Uddhav Ji Maharaj. Uddhav Ji Maharaj, in a very small boy, used to play with, you know, Krishna, deity of, you know, Follow, making deity of Krishna or the picture of Krishna 
and playing. Similarly, Srila Jiva Goswami also used to play with the deities of, I mean the, used to make deities of Gaur Nityananda, used to play all the time. Without Krishna Lila, you do nothing. And all the time crying in the name of Gaur Nityananda, <coughs> he was so upset to meet with Gaur Nityananda. He was so much upset to meet with Gaur Nityananda, Gaur Nityananda that it was almost impossible for him to stay at home. So in the pretext, so in the pretext of you know, higher education, he took permission from home to go to Navadip to learn more. It was one, one, one kind of pretext actually. Only it was one kind of issue. He wanted to go away from home. So he took permission, I like to take higher education because that time Navadip was the Navadip was a very important place in whole India. In whole India, Navadip was the topmost place. After that, Mithila. Navadip was the topmost place. Mithila, Varanasi, these three places, I think. Three places I am speaking. Like Navadip. Navadip was a very important place at that time. All Pandit, big, big. Navadip, Varanasi, Mithila, those are the important places where people could get higher education. Relating, relating to Ved, Vedanta, Upanishad, Puran, Bhagavatam, any. The very important place. Nay, nay, logic, logic, nay, all. Here also, Navadip, a big, big place. So, Jibu Goswami, but anyway, Jibu Goswami, but anyway, took permission from home to go to Navadip to take higher education there, to take higher education there. So, what happens, you know? There, he already left home, came to And that time, when he was supposed to enter, you know, the, when he was supposed to enter Mayapur, Mayapur already, Approaching the gate, approaching the gate of Sivas Pandit, Nitananda was because by, by because by that time Gorangamapu already gone, you know. By that time Gorangamapu already gone, taking sannyas. You should understand. Nitananda was sitting in Sivas Angan. Nitananda was speaking to. Nisananda was speaking to Sivas, 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 I think Jiva Goswami, I think Jiva coming. Nisananda was speaking in, in his whole house and speaking, Sivas, I think uh, Jiva coming. But Prabhu not coming, he already came in the gate. <laughs> he not coming, already in gate, as you call him. Then coming and fall down on the lotus feet of Nityananda, Nityananda embrace kiss and bless, after there's so many exchange of view, everything, after that, what kind of, what kind of mercy shown by Nityananda Babu, you cannot imagine. You cannot imagine what kind of Nityananda Babu, you know, tightly keeping Jiva in his breast, you know, chest, embracing. After that, giving advice, you must go immediately to Vrindavan. There you can get everything. All your previous family members, all your previous family members, Rup Sanatan, all, they are given, they are given their particular place, Vrindavan. So better you can also go. Jiva Goswami giving permission. By that time, he took darshan of different Different Gauriya Vaishnavas here, I mean Gauranga Parshat, also went to meet with, you know, Sachima, everything, took pranam, everything, there also. After that, what happens? Under the guidance of Nityananda Prabhu, Jiva Goswami started doing Gaur, Man, Gaur Dham Parikram. Under the guidance of Jiva under the guidance of Silan Nityananda Prabhu, under the guidance of Sriman Nityananda Prabhu, 
Jiva Goswami Pass started doing parikram of this Gaurdham food. Wherever Nityananda was going, indicating Jeep, here Prabhu used to do this Leela. Here Prabhu do this Leela, used to do this Leela. This is Godrum. This is in Subhanavya. This is in Singapalli Hall. Going to clarify. So, Dham Parikama should be done under the guidance of Nityananda Prabhu. Because Dham is Nityananda Tata, Baldev Tata. You know already. Anyway, after completing after completing Navadip Dham Parikram, staying for some days, after that by the instruction of, by the order of Nityananda Prabhu, he started moving towards Vrindavan. And in the meantime, Nityananda Prabhu already, to, already told to Jiva Goswami, Jiva Path, that Jiva, while going to Vrindavan, while going to Vrindavan, in between, you can stay for some days there in Varanasi. You can go to Vrindavan in the way, in the way of your Vrindavan, in midway, in, you know, in between, you can stay for some days in Varanasi to take lesson of Ved, Vedanta, Upanishad, Bhagavatam there. From whom? Nithyananda was speaking, you can take lesson from Madhusudan Bachaspati. Now I like to identify who is Madhusudan Bachaspati. Who is Madhusudan Bachaspati? Because Madhusudan Saraswati is also there. You cannot remember. But Madhusudan Saraswati is only uh, one and a half year, uh, 150 years back or 200 between. But I am speaking about Madhusudan Bachaspati. I am speaking about 400 years back. 400, 440 years back. His name is Madhusudan Bachaspati. Who is Madhusudan Bachaspati? Who is, Madhu, is Madhusudan Bachaspati? That is the question. Madhusudan, Madhusudan Bachaspati is a direct disciple of Sarvama Bhattacharya. He was the disciple of Sarvama Bhattacharya. So naturally, when Sarvama Bhattacharya was Mayavadi, that time he used to teach Mayavad. But after that, when he was changed, when he was changed by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu into a great devotee, that time Madhusudan Bachaspati took all relation from Sarvam Bhattacharya. Not only that, but also at the time of discussion of Vedanta Sutra between, at the time of discussion between Sarvam Bhattacharya and Mahaprabhu. On Vedanta, you can remember Nilachala Vedanta Bhikkha, Nilachala Vedanta Bhikkha, I already this published. That time, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and, and Sarvam Vartaja started discussing with each other on Vedanta topics and all. But it was Mayavad Vedanta. First of all, Sarvam Vartaja started. But when Mahaprabhu, uh, you know, Mahaprabhu started speaking, then Sarvamu Mahatajaju was bound to accept and he was converted into a great devotee. And only that time he started speaking. When, when God Kipa, the moment, the moment he got Kipa from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he started making hundred sloka. Like, even for our breathing we need ten time. But before breathing, he is going to speak like wind. Bhairagya Vidya Nija Bhakti Yoga Shikshartha Mekam Purusho Purana Sri Chaitanya Padam Mujo, you know, this. He started speaking. He started speaking hundred slokas. So I already published the sloka in Bengali. I already shot the sloka already. So, that time, Madhusudan Bhattacharya also got all the teachings. I mean, theistic Vedanta. Follow. Vedanta, all pure Vedanta, Siddhanta Vichar, he got from Sarvam Vartajajo because Sarvam Vartajajo received from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This way, he has a great Vedantist in Varanasi. Also, he was a very learned man. 
Ved, Vedanta, Upanishad, Bhagavatam, all. So, by the order of Sivan Nityananda Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, he went first, he went to Varanasi and he stayed, he stayed there for some days, some months, and he uh, he took lesson from he took lesson from Madhusudan Bachaspati and Madhusudan Bachaspati was very much you know pleased. Madhusudan Bachaspati gone mad. Madhusudan Bachaspati gone mad by watching the power of Jiva Goswami Bhai. Vidyabal. Vidyabal, you know? Vidyabal. If translation done, it's not perfect. Educational power, I cannot speak. Vidyabal means Vidyabal. I mean, what is catching power? So power. So Madhusan Rajaswati was very happy. He used to embrace him. He used to give all teachings, whatever he had, he used to give. Tajuga Simba, Ved, Vedanta, Upanishad, Bhagavatam, all. After completing education, within a short period of time, within a very short period of time, he completed everything. After that, he took permission from Madhusan Bachaspati to reach to reach Vrindavan. So after reaching Vrindavan, he took shelter unto a lotus feet of Rupsanathan, you know. After reaching Vrindavan, he took shelter unto a lotus feet of Rupsanathan. <coughs> there, Rupa Goswami Pad and Swanathan Goswami Pad, from heart, they wanted to teach Jibu Goswami Pad, and Jibu Goswami Pad was a very unique, big Pandit, so great Pandit, so great Pandit, even Rupa Goswami Pad and Swanathan Goswami Pad was very, very happy. When Rupa Goswami when Rupa Goswami Pad and Swanathan Goswami Pad could realize that his, his power, his learning power, going to, going to exceed any man, going to, going to exceed any man. That time, that time in present, that time in present India, that time, that time in India, all his educational power, learning power, so, Vidyabal is fair. So, Rup and Sanatan Goswami, they give permission to Jibu Goswami part to go through books written by them. I mean, Rupa Goswami Pad, any book written, any book, any book, Rupa Goswami, any book, Rupa Goswami Pad writing, any books, Sanatan Goswami Pad writing, they are going to allow, they are going to allow Jibu Goswami Pad to, for editing. For editing, you can edit, so power. So, actually Jibu Goswami Pad took shelter unto a lotus feet of Rupa Goswami Pad. I mean, the guru of Jibu Goswami Pad is Rupa Goswami Pad. So, Rupa Goswami Pad, what happens, you know? Rupa Goswami Pad giving permission for seva and at the same time cooking, giving prasadam, everything. Or when Rupa Goswami Pad writing books, you know, playing hand fan, hand fan, you know, hand fan. One day what happens, I like to jump, actually time cannot permit. One day what happens, Ballavacharya. Ballavacharya is from Vishnu Swami Sampradaya. Ballavacharya is from Vishnu Swami Sampradaya. He was a very important personality. You can remember when Mahaprabhu went to his house in uh, Arayal Gram, in Allahabad, that side of river, Arayal Gram, that. He was a big Pandit, he was very big Pandit. So, when Ballavacharya was going to take bath in Jamuna, in the way, he went to meet with Rupa Goswami Pad because the very near, Radha Damodar, you know, very near. From there you can go. Follow. I went there. When went there, actually Rupa Goswami Pad writing some books, writing some book, and Jibu Goswami Pad playing hand fan, playing hand fan. That time, when he reached there, each of them paid Dandava to him. And he is asking, because he is senior, he is asking, what book, you, what you are writing? He is speaking, uh, I am writing Rasamrita Sindhu. He is speaking, I am writing Rasamrita Sindhu. 
Well, then Balla Balla Charge was told, I can edit that book, no problem. I can correct. I can make some correction of that book. Ah, okay. Well, okay, okay. Very good. It is your highness. It is your highness that you like to. Then after that, after that, he gone to Jamuna to take bath. In the meantime, Jiva Goswami Path was feeling very disgusted. Because it is insulting. Why Balavacharya wanted to speak that way? Because his, everyone has their right, everyone can reserve the right to protect the interest of Gurudev. So when Jiva Goswami was feeling very disgusted, why speaking this way? What, what problem, what, what mistake there? That he is expressing that kind of audacity to rectify that book? Then he is taking permission for Rupabhad. Uh, Gurudev, I like to go to Jamuna because there is no water. There is no water. With the pitcher, with the pitcher, you know, Jiva Goswami is going to collect water from Jamuna. But the main point is to chase him. But the main point is to chase him. When he already running and running and catching him, excuse me, if you never mind, then in the middle, in the midpoint, near Jamuna. Near Jamuna, they meet each other. Excuse me, if you never mind, what kind of mistake you have discovered? What kind of mistake you have discovered in the book of my Gurudev so that he so that he wanted to rectify? Then in between, some exchange of view took place. After that, Balavacharya giving argument, Jiva Goswami is going to break that argument. Balavacharya again putting some argument, Jiva Goswami is going to break his Siddhanta Vichar. Then after that, Balavacharya was stunned. Balavacharya was stunned to see a small boy, a small boy of only 16, 14, 16. How possible so great Pandit? Then without speaking anything, he took birth. In the meantime, Jiva Goswami, you know, when to take, after taking birth, is coming back, Balava Charja, and again coming to Rupa Goswami Bhat. If you never mind, what is the identity? Who is that small boy in front of you? I saw. But why? I am just asking, who is he? Ah, uh, what to speak actually in, as per the relationship between, you know, as per the relationship of previous home relation is I am uncle. I mean, he is the son of my brother. Oh, really? And also, he is my disciple. He took initiation from me. Well, okay. After that, he gone. In the meantime, Jeeva Goswami is coming with water, keeping the pot in one place, and, you know, follow. After that, Rupa Goswami Pad could realize because they are Antajami. They realize everything. Because already some exchange of view or already there between Rupa Goswami and Balava Charja before he coming back with water. Then Rupa Goswami Pad could realize something happened. So Rupa Goswami speaking, you have, you, have, you have come here in Vindavan. You are going to accept your renounce order. You are going to accept your renounce order in a very small age. So better you go away. So better you go away from here. You go to East. You go to East. No, I cannot allow you to stay. He wanted to rectify my books out of his humbleness, out of his highness. What wrong in it? You could not bear this, this much. You could not bear this much. So you go away. Immediately you go away. Then the instructs by the order of Rupa Goswami Path, he started moving towards east. Finally, he going to reach Nanda Ghat. Nanda Ghat. When I already told you Brajamandal Parikama, you know, I told you, na, Baldevji Maharaj Rasasthali, after that Bihar Ban, after that Tapaban, after that I know, told you, na, Akshay Bhat, Tapaban, and after Tapaban, there is at the bank of Jamuna, there is one place that is named Nandagat. Nandagat is a place where Nandababa 
mistakenly wanted to take bath in Jamuna when it was one o'clock or two o'clock. Then the uh, then, then the Parshad of Barun took abducted him. That is the place. The name of the place is Baigaon. Baigaon. Nanda Baba shouting, Oh my son, Krishna, save me, save me. That is the place. That is called Nanda Ghat. That is called Nanda Ghat. Or you can say Baigaon. They are all Vajavasis. They are watching a small boy, you know, not aged, very small. Very nice looking, like a, like a prince. Full renunciation, going to cry and cry day and night. He's going to see. He stayed, he stayed there for some days. He compiled, you know, all Shatta Sandarbha, Kama Sandarbha, all there. He took, uh, wrote some tikka, almost fasting. Brajavasi is coming and requesting, you must take something. Sometimes taking, taking some yogurt, sometimes taking some milk, sometimes some fruits, nothing else. Almost fasting. And the body become very slim. <clears throat> day by day fasting, no, not taking anything. Something taking by forcefully, Brajavasi giving. So the body become very slim, very slim, sick. But in the meantime, he started writing all important books. Kama Sandarva, you know. Sattva uh, everything, he wrote, compiled, everything there, all everything. By that time, somehow, our Sanatana Goswami, our Sanatana Goswami, he used to travel around Vrindavan Dham, Churasi you know. Rupa Goswami, our Sanatana Goswami Bhadi used to travel all around Vrindavan. By chance he reached that place, some Brajavas is speaking, some small Baba, some small Baba coming here, he is almost fasting and day and night crying. What? Then by description, then by description, then by description, Sunatun Goswami could realize, Sunatun Goswami could realize, it, it must be, Sunatun Goswami could realize, that it must be, it must be Jiva Pad. Let me, let me go there. Where is? Let me go there. They go and find, oh, really, Jiva. Then Jiva jump into the lotus flower, lotus feet of Sanatana Goswami. Cannot speak anything. Sanatana, what happens? What ha Cannot speak, only crying. What happens? What happens? Cannot speak anything. Finally, he could realize. Sanatana could realize something happened. Then speaking, you come with me, come with me. Then he taking jiva and going to reach, taking jiva and going to reach, you know, that place, rather at present, what is Radha Damodar in Mildava? That place, at the bank of Jamuna. Jamuna was white. That time Jamuna was more white, not small. And going in front of Rupapath, and Rupapad actually is stunned. Gurudev coming, Sanatan, paying Dandavad. And that time, and that time, at that time, Rupa Goswami Bhad asking, hey, Sanatan Goswami Bhad asking, Jive Pem, Jive Daya, Jive Prem, Jive Daya. Eh? Jive Daya, this word, we can only found in the books. Jive Daya, this term, only we can read in books, not in practical. What do you mean? I mean, Jive Daya, this word we can read only in book, not practically we can so. What happens? What happens? He's going to, Jiva, come. Jiva was hiding. What he has done? What he has done? It is the duty of disciples to protect the interest of Gurudev. What wrong he has done? It is the duty of disciples to protect the interest and honor of Gurudev. What he has done? You accept him? Accept him? By the order of Sanatana Goswami Pad, Jiva Goswami Pad was molded little bit and he was bound to accept Jiva. Again, give order 
to for serving Guru Seva again. This way, Jiva Goswami Pad was the chairman of Vishwa Vishnu Brahsava. I like to jump, actually, time cannot find me. Jiva Goswami Pad was the chairman of Vishwa Vishnu Brahsava after Rupa Sanatan. After Rupa Sanatan, Jiva Goswami Pad was the sole authority in Vrindavan, controlling everybody. Whole Vaishnava society. Even you know, Rupa Goswami Pad, eh, eh, you know, eh, our Narottama Thakur, Srinivas Achajyo, Samananda Prabhu, all they took lesson from Jiva Goswami Pad. Jiva Goswami Pad, the only personality who wanted to protect the whole interest of Gaudiya Sampradaya, who wanted to protect whole to complete interest of Gauri Sampradaya. Even a little bit deviation, I mean, even a little bit deviation, he couldn't tolerate. He wanted to protect the total, you know, interest of Gauri Sampradaya. I mean, he wanted to protect the teachings of Gauranga intact. You can remember I started with the point that honey is available in flower, also, poison is also available in flower. Follow. I always told that. So, in our Vaishnava society, in our Vaishnava society, our Jiva Goswami Pad always giving honey to us. Honey. Nana, Sastra, Vichara, Naikonipur. Studying all Sastra. After studying all Sastra, going to give the cream. Honey. But there is some wicked. You know, team, they always like to find fault with pure sadhus. They always like to find fault with pure sadhus. So they, it is their duty. It is their duty, it is their duty to find fault with pure Vaishnava. Follow. Even the disciple of Prabhupada, they wanted to find fault with Prabhupada. They gone already. They left Prabhupada. They load, they become sahajiya, totally sahajiya. They went, they already went against Goryamat. Prabhupada, Goryamat, Harinam, chanting Harinam loudly, they are not. All they gone. So what to speak? So Jibu Goswami Pad was the topmost you know, personality, chairman of this distribution of Rasava, but still what to do? For infinity. For infinity period, if we try our best to pay to Jibu Goswami Pad, we cannot pay. It is impossible for us. But still, some group of Sahajya, they always try to find fault with your Vaishnava. They wanted to speak that Jibu Goswami Pad was very, very envious when our Krishnadas, Krishnadas Kobiraj Goswami when our Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami completed, when our Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami completed writing Chaitanya Charitamrita, that time they are speaking, Jiva Goswami Pad, out of jealousy, wanted to throw this Chaitanya Charitamrita into one well, water. It is written, they are speaking. They are speaking out of jealousy. Jiva Goswami is going to take that book and going to throw into, into the well, water. Then how we are getting? They are making one history. One disciple of, one disciple of Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, he was very clever. So after compilation of that book, he already made one copyright. Copyright, no? He already wrote. Handwriting, totally. They are writing, they are speaking. The Chaitanya Chaitanya at present we are going to read because of the fact that the complete writing, complete in total, the copy writing was there with one disciple of Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami. They are speaking this way. They are speaking this way. There is idiot number one. But there is no such document. There is no such document we cannot find. Follow what I say. After that, they are going to complain that Jiva Goswami Pad in Sandarbha 
wanted to establish Shakyabad. They wanted to complain that surely they wanted to establish this fact that surely, surely Jiva Goswami path is not at all in line with Rup Sanatan because he wanted to establish Shakyabad. This way, they are going to they are going to collect Vaishnava Parad day by day and they are going to hell forever. But what is the fact? What is the fact? Srila Sachidanda Bhakti Vantagu speaking, Jiva Goswami Pad went wanted to protect this fallen you know, society. Jiva Goswami Pad wanted to give protection to those so-called devotees and those who are common people. They are going to criticize about the Rasa Leela, how possible Krishna is going to lose his own character, going to play with the wives of others. Already we know, I already gave an answer. Rasa Leela introduction, I already told you, know, remember? You can remember, I already told you. So many documents. Actually, actually Bhagavan Sri Krishna, it is true, it is true that Jiva Goswami was speaking that the conception of parakya, that the conception of parakya cannot stand in the case of Nanda Nandan Krishna. It is true. Because it are there all the sakti, all the sakti of Krishna. Ananda Chinumaya Rasa Pativa Vitavi Stavi Eva Nijurva Taya Kalavi The Sloka Goloka Eva Nivishati Nikilat Mahuta Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamambaya Ananda Chinumaya Rasa Pativa Vitavi The Sloka you discuss, you can find they eternally present with those Shaktis those Shaktis, they eternally present so eternally present try to understand if they are, they are all gopikas, all gopikas, if they are eternal sakti of Krishna, then how parakya bab can stand? Try to understand. Not that tomorrow they already change and go and become parakya, not that. They eternally, they are eternally present. They are eternal sakti, eternal, eternal lila parshat, goes gopikas, that is the eternal sakti. So eternally mean they in true sense they cannot their conception of parakya cannot stay. But Jiva Goswami by writing, Jiva Goswami by giving argument that the conception of parakya bab is also eternally present to enrich, to enrich the lila vilas. Follow. To enrich, to enrich the lila vilas. If parakya bab is not there, then. Shakyabhav with, with Shakyabhav, this kind of taste of prema, this kind of taste of cannot come. So Jiva Goswami Bhavi, Jiva Goswami was speaking, so Jiva Goswami was speaking, though eternal, eternally those gopikas are eternally, those gopikas are eternal sakti of Krishna. So there cannot be any question of parakya, but still, the eternal conception of Parakya Bab is standing inside the heart of Dugopikas. Also inside the heart of Krishna. Otherwise, this kind of Leela, taste cannot come. Follow. The taste of Leela can come when you are, you know, going to play with, you know, hero with Parakya Bab. And when Krishna is going to, this kind of Baba sometime can meet Sometimes cannot mean there is so many impediments in the so when there is so many impediments because Sakyabab no no Sakyabab no problem no Rukini Satabama they are Sakya Sakya man anytime they can play but Parakyabab is very dangerous because there's so many the society is there senior uh, senior Brajavas is there even the son you know mother in law there or everything, all different kind of impediments there. So the more, the more, the more difficulties they are going to facing, the more you know the enjoyment of prema can come out. It's called parakya. So Jibugo Sahib was speaking. 
Though there is no question of parakya because their eternal sakti, gopikas, they are playing for eternally, they are playing for infinity period. So, no question of parakya. But, by the conception of parakya, but the parakya Baba is already eternally present in Radhika, Bind, Radhika, and, and, and you know, everybody. Lalita, Vishaka, all gopikas. If if Parakya Bab is eternally pro not present, then the Leela cannot go up to the peak point. Excellency of Leela cannot go up to the peak point. That's why. So Bhakti Mahatma was speaking, Jiva Goswami Path, so Bhakti Mahatma was speaking, Jiva Goswami Path, our Tattacharya of Gauriya Sampraday. Jiva Goswami Path is the topmost Tattacharya in our Gauriya Sampraday, also is the topmost Vedantist, Gauriya Vedantist. Follow. Even Ballabhacharya wanted to write one book, name is Tattva Pradeep. I can go back, I can go back a little bit. When Ballabhacharya wrote one book on Vedanta, the name of the book is Tattva Pradeep. The name of the book is Tattva Pradeep. There, Ballabhacharya wanted to establish some Vedanta Siddhanta. Ballabhacharya came in front of Jivagasepa. Balavacharya came in front of Jiva Goswami Pad to give the book to him to check up. Follow. Balavacharya was bound to give this book, hand over this book to Jiva Pad. Please, you, you know, you can check up if there is any mistake. So many documents are there. Jiva Goswami Pad wanted to, you know, rectify that book and with, uh, with more, with more, you know, very appealing mood. He was bound to speak. There is so many Siddhanta which is not at all good. Jiva Goswami Pad, Jiva Goswami Pad, told to Balavacharya, in your book, so many, so many, so many such, so many such Siddhanta Vichar, which is not good. So according to the advice, so according to the advice of Jiva Goswami Pad, Balavacharya was bound to rectify According to the advice of Jiva Goswami Pad, Balavacharya was bound to rectify that book. So you understand what is the position of you know, Jiva Goswami Pad. So anyway, our Bhakti Muntag was speaking, our Bhakti Muntag was speaking that what is there eternally present, what is there eternally present, what is there eternally present in Golok Vindavan, what is there eternally present in Goluk Vindavan? That must come here. That must come here. Or whatever we are watching here, Bhakti Mantra was speaking, whatever we are watching in the Bauma, Bauma Vindavan, whatever we are going to watch in Bauma Vindavan, whatever we are going to watch in Bauma Vindavan, in this material Vindavan, yeah. I mean, Vindavan coming, same Vindavan. But when Vindavan coming down here, here we are going to find some uh, exceptional thing, like Radharani is married with, you know, Ayan goes, Lalita married with some Durmuj Gop, so many. So, what is there? So, Jiva Goswami Path speaking, this kind of parakya bab, materially we can watch, met in general, in general what we can discover when Krishna Lila is already there, when Krishna Lila already here, when Krishna Lila already here on this earth, I mean Bhoma Bindavan. Jiva Goswami Jiva Goswami is speaking. Jiva Goswami is speaking. When we are going to watch the marriage ceremony of Radharani with Ayan Gos, this, that, Jiva Goswami is speaking. All done by Jogmaya. All done by Jogmaya. It is one kind of magic spell. All done by Jogmaya. It is one kind of magic spell. Actually, none of their husband, none of their husband touched their wife. No contamination. It is one kind of arrangement by none of their husband, all. It is written in, in Bhagavatam also. Bhagavatam also. Gopinam tat patinancha sarvesham eva dehinam 
जंतश्चरह स किरण देहवाग ऑल गोपिकास ऑल देयर हजबैंड इन साइड देयर हार्ट दैट सुप्रीम पर्सन एंड कृष्ण इज प्रेजेंट ऑल इन साइड देयर हार्ट कृष्ण इज प्रेजेंट एंड दैट कृष्ण हु इज द प्रिंसिपल हेड फाउंटेन हेड ऑफ ऑल इन्फिनिट यूनिवर्स ईश्वर परम कृष्ण सच्चिदानंद विग्रह अनादि राधि गोविंद सर्व कारण ही इज प्रेजेंट हियर टू प्ले विद दिस गोविंद वॉट रॉन्ग इन इट वॉट रॉन्ग इन इट हलो आधार आर्गुमेंट ऑल्सो दिए आधार आर्गुमेंट दिए हाँ आधार डिफरेंट कैन ऑफ आर्ग्यू ना आर्गुमेंट सर दिए दैट दोज दैट दोज दोज यू नो गोप गोप I mean the husband of all those wives of you know of those bhajogopikas. They never touched. They never touched. Follow. All one kind of one kind of you know one kind of magic spell was jogmaya. All one kind of magic spell of jogmaya. Sometimes they find their children. These are all jogmaya arrangement. Actually, they are never contaminated by anybody. They are eternally present with Krishna. A one kind of magic spell of Jogu Maya. So, Jibu Goswami is bringing all their marriage, all their everything, whatever their family life, everything, all one kind of magic spell of Jogu Maya. And Shakya, eternally those Shakya, but Parokya Bab, but Parokya Bab eternally present in Golok Dham. Parokya Bab eternally present in Golok Vindavan. Parakya Bab eternally present in Mindavan. Bhakti Mata was speaking. What is present? What is present there in eternal and Mindavan? That must come here. Parakya Bab. And what is present there? We must find there. Only the conception of their wife in Golok Vrindavan, don't understand. Here in Bhoma Vrindavan, they can find their husband, mother in law. But this con only this conception is there. In Golok Vrindavan, there is no mother-in-law. In Golok Vrindavan, there is no mother-in-law, no husband. Only this conception. Conception of Kongso. Hey, I can go to Kongso and complain. But Kongso is not there. Only this Baba. Only this Baba. We can go to Kongso and complain. This kind of Baba there. To enrich the Leela. So that Leela can go to uh, up to peak point. Only the conception of Kangsa, only the conception of you know mother-in-law, Jotila, Kutila, Ayan goes all there. Actually not there. Follow? Actually not there. So the conception is there. So Parakya Bab, this conception eternally present in Mindavan. Golok Vindavan, also present there. So no problem. So those who are going to complain against Jivagusepa, they are all idiot and fallen soul. They are all idiot and fallen soul. We don't like to discuss anything about them. They are fallen soul, so fallen. And another point, another very vital point, that all the all the Siddhanta Bichar, be careful. All the Siddhanta Bichar of Gaurang Mahapu, all A to Z. Total A to Z, all Siddhanta Bichara of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, you can find in Srimad Bhagavatam and also what all there in Bhagavatam, all Siddhanta Jibu Goswami Prabhu wanted to put in Shandarva. Or Satasana, six Shandarva, six Shandarva, you can find all the Siddhanta Bichara of Gauranga Mahaprabhu in, in Srimad Bhagavatam. That's why you know. Sinatmani, I already told in you know, in Harikatha yesterday, but it due to internet problem we couldn't hear. I can come to this point after. So actually, Jibu uh, Goswami Bhad wanted to establish this point. That what is there eternally present that you can find here. What is you can find here, it is eternally present there. So no question. आराध्य भगवान भजस्तन धाम बृंदावनम राम का काचिदुपसना भजपति वर्गेन जा कल्पिता 
Srimad Bhagavatam, Pema Pumartha Mahano, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matam Midam Tattadarana Para. So Mahaprabhu already told that Mahaprabhu, all Siddhanta Vichara, all, all the Siddhanta, all the Siddhanta Vichara of Mahaprabhu, you can find in Srimad Bhagavatam and what all written in Bhagavatam, all accurate Siddhanta Vichara, everything analytically. You can give answer of any what. You can get you can get answer of any what from Bhagavatam. You can answer, you can get in Shatya Sandarbha. You can find. All solution. All solution. Jiva Goswami wrote so many books. Among them I like to name some like Harinama Harinamamrita Bekaran. Sanskrit grammar relating with Sanskrit grammar relating with all the name of Bhagavan. Sanskrit grammar relating with all the name of Bhagavan. Damodar, Madhusudan, Nishingo, Baraho, Janardan, all name, all countless name. Paul, how possible? Jivoga Simpad related all the sutra of Bhakaran or formula of Bhakaran with the name of Janardan. So that those who are going to read Bhakaran, they are going to lose bhajan. Those who, are, those who are going to read Bhakaran, they are going to lose their time, a bhajan. So Jiva Goswami took trouble to compile Bhakaran's Bhakaran Sanskrit grammar in such a way. So if you are going to read Bhakaran, still you are not going to waste your time. Bhakaran, Kramat Anas, Tat Anath. All six sandarbhas, all different tikas of Dasanskanda, Rasamitra Sindhu Tika, all different. All different books he wrote. Also, eh, those who are you know, studying Sanskrit, their you know, Shabdo sound, Shabdo, Shabdo Rup, Datu Rup, collection of books. Big collection. Jiva Goswami collect, Shabdo Rup, so many. Dhatu Shangraho. The name of the book is, the name of the book is Dhatu Shangraho, Dhatu. Follow. Root, root of any word. Sangra, all big books. So, Jibu Goswami Pad also writing some very sweet, like, you know, sweet, sweet books. Madhuras books, like Madhu Madhubasap, one book. Another, uh, you can find Gopal Champu, all. So many books. So many books. Jibu Goswami writing. But, we are not in a position to understand these high-level books. So we have to depend on Bhakti Mahatma Thakur what to do. Anyway, we are very... This way, Jiva Goswami wanted to give the life, oh, so many things in our Gauriya Bhajan. Any Sampradaya, four Sampradaya, Madhva Sampradaya, Ramanuja Sampradaya, Vishnu Swami, Nimbarka, they cannot make any competition. They can never, they can never make any competition with Gauriya Sampradaya. Gauriya Sampradaya philosophy, Siddhanta is so rich, so rich. Jiva Goswami Bhad was the topmost Vedantist. Jiva Goswami Bhad was the topmost Vedantist. He didn't think it necessary to compile a commentary on Vedanta simply because, simply because Mahaprabhu already told that Bhagavatam is a natural interpretation of Vedanta. Mahaprabhu already told that Srimad Bhagavatam is the interpretation, explanation, eh, interpretation, explanation, I mean, of Vedanta. So Jiva Goswami didn't do. But finally, when there was big, big fighting took place, you know, on this issue, then Baladev Vidyabhushan was sent by Vishwanath Chakotibad. He already went there and Vedanta Bhashya. What Vedanta Bhashya we are going to see, it will compile by him. Actually, Jibu Goswami Bhad is the topmost Vedantist. After Jibu Goswami Bhad, after Jibu Goswami Bhad, after Jibu Goswami Bhad, Baladev Vidyabhushan is topmost Vedantist. Nobody can complain. And also one very important point, that the, on, on the basis of the conception of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Because Gauranga Mahaprabhu, want, it is an excellent discovery. 
Gauranga Mapu wanted discovery. It was the excellent discovery because Gauranga Mapu himself Bhagavan. So I, we can say discovery because it is eternally present. If you say Achinta Veda Tattva was given by Mahaprabhu, it is a fresh new Siddhanta, it is wrong. Achinta Veda Siddhanta eternally there. Achinta Veda Siddhanta eternally there. That's why I speak this word discovered. When Mahaprabhu wanted to when, when Mahaprabhu wanted to reconcile, when Mahaprabhu wanted to reconcile all the four Siddhanta Vichar of Madhacharya, Ramanucharya, Vishnu Sami, you know, Vishnu Sami, Nimbarka Sampada, then Mahaprabhu wanted to speak one thing. That is, if all these four sampradaya, if all of them, if all four sampradaya, if all of them going to accept this one point, Except the only one point, that is Achinta Vedavat Tattva. Then all Siddhanta Vichar among them can be harmonized. Follow what I say. All can be harmonized, very nice. But they are speaking sometimes, you know, sometimes this is, you know, Vishishtat Doitabhat, Doitat Doitabhat, Shuddhat Doitabhat. This way they are, they, they are going to differ from each other. But all, each, all Vedanta Vichar, but be sure, all Vedanta Vichar, everything, all discussion, all any discussion done by any Acharya, depending upon five points. One is Jiva, Ishwara, Jiva, Kal, Maya, you know, this all, you know, this way. Follow. This way, all depend upon these points. All depends upon. But they differ from each other according to their point, according to their according to their respective point of view. They are going to differ from each other. Follow. So all you know, Bhagavan, Ishvara, Jiva, Kal, Ishvara, Jiva, Kal, Anna, Maya, follow, Shakti. All they are going to. On the basis of these five points, any acharya is going to discuss. But their point of view is a little bit different from each other. But when Mahaprabhu is going to give us Achinta Vedavet Tattva, if you are going to apply this Achinta Vedavet Tattva, if you are going to apply, you can find all the four different, you know, Siddhanta Vichar can be harmonized, can be harmonized very scientifically if you are going to accept this Achinta Vedavet Tattva. Our Jiva Goswami Path wanted to establish this Achinta Vedavat Tattva everywhere. Everywhere. Whatever, whatever Vedanta judgment is speaking, is going to apply Achinta Vedavat Whatever uh, Shandarva, what he is writing, is going to give Achinta Vedavat Tattva. On the basis of this Achinta Vedavat Tattva, he was successful to harmonize everything. I mean, he was successful to establish all the Siddhanta which are Gauranga Mapu in practical field. Achinto, by this word, by this word Achinto, some foolish people thinking it is, it is beyond our conception. All foolish people, they are going to, they are going to, they are going to explain that Achinto, Achinto mean it can, we cannot calculate. It is beyond our human comprehension. Only this much they say. Achintamane, we cannot think out. We can never think out. We can never think out and find solution. That is why all foolish people they are saying it is Achinto. But Achinto only, only this meaning is not good. If we say Achinto mean we cannot think out. Achinto. Only this meaning is not sufficient. If you say, Achinto means, oh, it's out of your calculation, we cannot play our hand. This meaning is not sufficient. Achinto, okay, beyond our conception, beyond our thinking power, okay. But beyond our thinking, but beyond our thinking power, there is another level of prema. There is one platform of prema. Follow. Beyond our thinking level, beyond our imagination power, 
beyond our calculation, there is another platform, which is called the platform of prema. If you reach that platform of prema, then you can find harmonize. So, Jiva Goswami is speaking, beyond this thinking power, there is another platform, that is called the platform of prema. And if you reach that platform of prema, everything can be harmonized. So Achinta Vedava doesn't mean only, only doesn't, don't, you know, doesn't mean only that it is beyond our, it also it means there is another platform, it is beyond this thinking power, imagination power, there is another platform which is called, which is called the platform of Prema, where everything possible. Bhagavan going to message the lake of devotee. Achinta Vedava Tattva. Bhagavan is going to catch the lotus feet of brother and excuse me, going to take the lotus feet. All Achinta Veda Vettata. All Achinta Veda Vettata. Aham Bhakta Paradhino, he Ashatanta Ivo Dijo. All Achinta Veda Vettata. But whereas Maha, Maha, Bhagavan already speaking in Vedanta, in our Srimad Bhagavatam, first sloka, first sloka. First sloka, Bhagavatam, all you can find. Yanmada Suyata Anmayadi Tarasharta Savigya Sarata Tene Brahma Ida Yaga Adi Kabayo Mayanti Yasurayu Teyo Vari Midam Yatha Vinimayo Tishargaham Misha Dhamna Seno Sadan Niras Kuhakam Satyam Param Divai. They are also Achinta Vedat. Here Bhagavan speaking, he is beyond any control, Achinta. Nobody can get control over Bhagavan. Bhagavan is supreme bound, who can? Eh? Sarat. Sarat mean? Sarat mean he is enjoying infinity sovereignty. Infinity world, nobody is there, no father is there who can get control over Krishna. That's why in Bhagavad first first can to first slok, Yanma Dasya Yato Yanmayadu Taras Shavigya Shavigya Sarat. Shavigya Mani, he himself is knowledgeable. He himself can know everything in infinity world, in infinity world, in infinity world, wherever what is happening. In infinity world, where what is happening anywhere, at a time simultaneously, Krishna can know. Krishna need not wait, Krishna need not wait, Krishna need not wait upon you so that you can give information, Krishna can know. But here in Lila, Dharaka Lila, Mathura Lila, Bindavan Lila, sometimes speaking, Krishna, this happened, oh really? Then Krishna going to know. Eh? In Lila, when somebody, Krishna, this happened, you know, okay, really? It happened so, Krishna not knowing. But that Krishna, about Krishna is written, is knowing everything. In infinity world, any point, anywhere in this infinity world, whatever happening, when, Instant Krishna can know everything because Krishna is omnipresent. Whereas Krishna not knowing anything. Krishna not knowing anything in Chaitanya Chaitanya. What is happening? What is the case of Gopika? What is my case? I don't know. It is written in Chaitanya Chaitanya. Ami na jani, ami na jani, na jane gopi go on. I have no information what is happening. Why Gopika is feeling so much love for me? And why I am growing so much love for them? What happening? What is the magic? I don't know. It is written in Chaitanya Chaitanya. Ami on na jani, na jani gopi go on. Those gopikas they don't know. I also have no information. And then who is going to know? Who is going to know? All arranged by Jogumaya. The Jogumaya is the eternal presence. The Jogumaya means Krishna knowing, at the same time not knowing. Jogumaya, it is a total responsibility giving, total responsibility giving to Jogumaya. So Krishna is free, like somebody is enjoying. Something enjoying. So give a responsibility to some serv servant. You check up what is happening. Now don't disturb me. I am now in enjoying mood. Eh? This is the case. So Jogumaya knowing means Krishna knowing. At the same time, Krishna not knowing, it is also good. Because Achinta Veda. This way, you know, this way all things can be harmonized. I like to speak so many things about Jiva Goswami path, but time cannot permit. I like to touch another another Gaur Parshad. His name is Jagadish Pandit. His name is Jagadish Pandit. His name is Jagadish Pandit. 
He took birth in Assam, Gauhati, Prague, Jatispur. As per Bhagavatam, as per Bhagavatam, the as per Bhagavatam, the name of Gauhati was Prague Jatispur. Prague Jatispur. Prague Jatispur. There he took birth. His father, mother, his father and mother both great devotee. Father and mother great devotee. So great devotee. After father mother gone, he took decision to come with wife. Name of wife is Dukhinima. Name of wife is Dukhinima. He took decision to go and stay at the bank of Ganga. They came because they are the eternal parts of the Gauranga Mahapu. They came here to stay near the house of Jagannath Mishra. They came from they came from Assam, Gohati, and they took decision to stay near the house of Jagannath Mishra here. There was another friend, his name is Hiranno. They are both of them Brahman, very nice, dear devotee. Hiranno Govardhan, Hiranno and Hiranno Jagadish, Jagadish Hiranno, both of them. Somebody speaking, Mohesh Pandit. Somebody speaking, Moyas Pandit is the brother of Jagadish, junior brother. Somebody speaking, Moyas Pandit is the junior brother of Jagadish Pandit. Somebody speaking, no. I don't know. But anyway, Moyas Pandit is Subahu, Subahu Shakha. Moyas Pandit is Subahu Shakha. In Vrindavan game, Vrindavan Leela, he was Subahu Shakha, Subahu. He used to play with Krishna Deja. And Jagadish Pandit, according to, according to Kavi Karnapur, Gaur Ganadesh Tripika, according to Gaur Ganadesh Tripika, it is written, his Chandra Has, one Sakhi, Chandra Has Sakhi, she used to dance and sing in Bajalila. And yet another document, somebody speaking, that he is Jagik Patni. He, Jagadish Pandit, Jagadish Pandit and Hiranna, both of them Jagik Patni. You heard about Jagik Patni, I already discussed two years back. When Chaitanya Mahapu was a very small boy, one day crying very heavily, Akadushi day. Very Akadushi day, very heavily crying. One day Akadushi day, very heavily crying. Then all senior like Sachima and all other senior you know, auntie, they are trying to pacify. What happens? What? Why? Why you are crying so heavily? Every day, every day you are crying when you are speaking Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Bol. You are stopping. But today not stopping. What happens? Every day when you are speaking Hare Krishna, Hare Bol, you are stopping. But today not. What happens? Well, uh, today you will have to go to the house of Jagadish and Hiranna. They are making so nice preparation in Akadashi day. Rice, sabji, dal, so nice paramanna. You can go to their house, bring and give all prasadam to me. Then I can stop. Huh? What happened? How the, how the small boy knowing that today is Akadashi? A small boy only four or five years, not even, not even five years. How no? How no? How can know that today is Akadashi day? And how, uh, who give information? They are making so nice preparation in their house in Akadashi day. Then some of them running, yeah, he ran, uh, you know, Jagadish, as a small boy, you know, Nimai is crying heavily. Why, why? They like to get all the boga you made here. He like to eat today. He has full, full information about your preparation that you are going to prepare so many things, so many things in Akadashi day. Going to offer. Oh, really? And he ran, uh, and Jagadish, they say, from very, from long time, from long time, we have information that Paratpara Khileshar Parabrahma Krishna took birth in the house of Jagannath Misro. We have information. Well, we have information, we know from long time that Paratpara Khileshar, Jagadish, you know, Jagannath, Paratpara Khileshar, Coming in the form of Gauranga, Nimai. So you take, 
take all in leap, they are taking all prasadam, parman, everything, they are going to, they, they themselves going to carry all prasadam and keeping in front of the small boy. You take, take, take my boy, you take. He started taking. He started taking. Then all stop. No crying, nothing. He laughing, laughing, looking at them, laughing and taking. Everybody stunned. This small boy, three, three years, four years, boy, how knowing today's Ekadhi, who told him? And how, uh, who gave information? They are making nice, nice preparation in the house, their house, respective house. Well, very good. Jagan, you know, Jagadish Pandit, their hand knows me. Jagannath, you take, you take, you take. Today our cooking is successful. Today our cooking is successful. Bhagavan taking himself. Take. So they could realize. When Gauranga Mahapu grew up, Gauranga Mahapu giving instruction, when Mahapu going up, giving instruction to Jagadish, you can go to Urisha, Nilachal here, you preach the name of J Bhagavan, Hari. Mahaprabhu when grow up, when Mahaprabhu already grown up, then one day giving instruction to Jagadish, you can go to Nilachal, you can go to Arisa for preaching of Harinam. Then he was, you know, ready to go to Orissa, different places, finally to Nilachal Khetra. And in Nilachal Khetra, he is enjoying, he is distributing Harinam, everything now. One day, by the order of Jagannath, he was bound to carry Jagannath from there. And clear conception about this is not written. Accurate conception about not reading, but we cannot express any doubt. Only it is written that by the order of Jagannath, he was bound to carry Jagannath up to up to Gaur Mandal. Then how possible? First point: If Jagannath is already there, Jagannath is already there in the temple. If Jagannath coming, then how is possible that devotees can worship Jagannath? First question can come. Second question can come. After every 12 years, after every 12 years, they are going to put the deity of Jagannath under mat. They are going to search for, you know, Daru Brahma again making Jagannath. And what is the case that Jagannath is bringing? Or maybe Jagannath appear in the... Uh, or maybe nothing strange. Nothing strange. He was sleeping. By the order of Jagannath, he was ready to carry Jagannath. But where is Jagannath? Maybe in the morning time he discovered Jagannath there already. Who can say? Everything is possible. But after that, Jagadish is speaking to Jagannath. Prabhu, you are so big deity. How I can carry you? I am very old man. Oh, you try to carry me. If you can take one stick, if you can take one stick, if you can take one stick and tie, tie, Try me in the in the front portion of the you know that you know stick. Then you can take the stick. And here I am hanging. You can take there and come. Boy, how I can carry so heavy? No, 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 no heavy. You you try, you try. You can see I am like wind, very light. Then after that, Jagadish Pandit is going to tie Jagannath in the stick, big stick, and putting here. Oh, there is no weight. Zero at zero. Uh, he's taking Jagannath and running and running. And Jagannath told, if you are going to put me anywhere, if you are going to put me anywhere, I cannot go. Be careful. You can take me from here and go directly. If you put anywhere, I cannot go. So he's going to carry. He forget. He forget. He was, he was you know, he coming up to Ch Chakradaha. It's called Chakradaha, Chagda, what is called Chagda. Up to Chagda coming, at the bank of Ganga, he took decision, well, I can keep this deity here at the bank of Ganga. I can worship and take bath and do a drink water. But when giving, after that is going to take, I cannot go. Why? But I told you already. If you put anywhere, I cannot go. So, well, you like to stay here. Then Jagadish Pandit was bound to uh, open one open one new seva of Jagannath there and Dukhinima 
that was that place name is Josra. Josra. It's called Josra. Its name is Josra. Follow. From Kishanagar, if you go towards Calcutta, you know, if you can go there, there you can meet the station. Follow there. So they open one sipat, open one sipat there of Jagannath. Gauranga Mahapu and Nityananda used to go there very often. You know, went there and used to take seva from Dukhinima. But Dukhinima cannot allow Jagan, cannot allow Krishna, you know, Nityananda and Gauranga to go away. He is crying heavily. One day, Dukhinima crying heavily, I cannot allow you to go away, I can die. Then Gauranga Mahapu giving some deity of Gauranga Vigraha, one small deity, Gaur Gopal. You can find there in Jasra, Chagda. It's the name of the station is Chagda. You can find one Gaur Gopal, very small. Gauranga finally giving this deity to Dukhinima, ah, my mother, I am always staying with you, believe me. You can give me boga, anything I can take. Follow. There is a place. So, this way, the place is very important. And our great Acharya Jasila Bhakti, the Madhav Goswami Maharaj, he was successful to, uh, you know, discover that place. And we are very happy to go there. Many of my Harikatha, many Harikatha. Fifteen years back, twelve years, many Harikatha was the Bengali Harikatha. So many Harikatha was there. Anyway, so Jagadish Pandit, as a great, today we like, is a, as a disappearance day, we like to get the kipa of both Srila Jivagasimha and Srila Jagadish, Jagadish Pandit from heart. Please you all bless us so that we can go ahead, ahead in our bhajan. Anyway, yesterday, 